Welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin. I am from grassfedgirl.com and I am a holistic nutrition consultant. Over the last 10 years, I have been trying to heal my body from Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And most recently, the carnivore diet has been helping me with that. And about four months ago, I had a baby and that's been a wonderful experience. So I will be doing a video today about ribeyes, how to make your ribeye on your stovetop. So get ready. All you need to have is a plate. You need a stove, my stove back there. And you need a ribeye and then some paper towels and some salt. So we're gonna have fun today. We are going to cook a ribeye on a stovetop. It's just gonna be easy. It's not gonna be complicated. So get your stuff ready and come and enjoy the best steak, in my opinion, on earth. The first thing we want to figure out is how to pick a steak. So you want to either get a choice steak or a prime steak. Prime steaks are going to be more expensive. They're going to have more marbling and a choice steak is just going to be a little cheaper, but they're both really good. And this is a choice steak. I got this at Aldi. It is $10. So it is about a pound. 1.08 pounds and um it's a pretty good deal it's consistently that price at aldi so i usually go there uh, you can also have a steak from your local farmer i have bought a lot of half cows quarter cows grass-fed cows um, sometimes those steaks are not as forgiving when you're cooking them because they don't have as much fat grain-fed steaks are gonna have a lot more fat so you have a lot more room for error in your cooking so keep that in mind um, today we're going to use a grain fed steak and that is what a lot of carnivores like because it is very very fatty so that's what we're going to be having today and a lot of times i do eat grass fed uh, i usually eat a lot of grass fed um, ground beef so you have to remember that cows are fed grass a majority of their life except for about the last three weeks or so so it's up to you how rigid or stringent you want to be with your grass fed or grain fed it's up to you they're both healthy and um it just depends on your health outcomes and your health goals okay so you're going to put it on your plate and you want to dry off any moisture that you have on the steak so you're just going to dry it off turn it over dry off the other side because any of that moisture is going to create steam and that's going to make your steak very tough so now you're just going to put your salt on both sides. This steak is also room temperature. Make sure that it's room temperature before you get it out to cook. So just have it sit out for a while. Mine's been sitting out about an hour. So you want to see, see all that beautiful marbling in there. It's a really, really good. I'm excited about this one. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention is this pan. You need a, a really good pan. You could use a cast iron. This is my carbon steel pan. I got it from Amazon down in my link below. This is a wonderful pan that you can use for your whole lifetime. And I've already had it for about two years and I love it so much. This is a nonstick pan. This is the one they use in restaurants. It is amazing. And this has a silicone handle that you can buy separate. So make sure you have a really good pan. I like cast iron. I also have some Le Creuset pans, um, but a good pan is really important for cooking your steak. I don't like nonstick or Teflon pans um, because they have a lot of chemicals and stuff that's mystery. So I like to use old fashioned stuff. So get your pan ready and soon we're gonna move to the stove. And this is my buddy joining me. He loves to be in the kitchen, just like me. Okay, so I have it on medium high heat. And then you want to make sure you get really get that sizzle. Hear that? <laughs> Sounds big. So you can even you can even set a timer. So I'm gonna set a timer for five minutes on each side. And that will get that nice press before we flip it. And it. It will make a lot of smoke, so you might need to open the door to the outside. Oh, 
I don't use a thermometer because I just like to touch it when I want to know if it's done. And if you cook steak enough, you'll learn that too. Um, I don't really believe in thermometers. My husband taught me to use my hands, so he is a chef and that is what I use. So you'll, you'll learn it too. It just takes practice. So I say about five minutes on each side and then you want to let it rest for about five minutes. It's so good. I'm so excited. Mmm. With a little, you could cook it with a little ghee if you want to, but I don't see that it's necessary. Ghee is good because butter can sometimes burn, but ghee has a higher smoke point. But I'm not going to use that today because we just want to keep it as simple as possible, and it's going great just like this. Oh, we're going to flip it over. Here we have that nice crust on the other side. So I'm just gonna do five minutes on this side. And I'm actually going to turn it down to seven and reset my timer. So this one, you just want to feel it. I'm starting to feel like medium. So I might do a little less. I might do like four minutes rather than five minutes. It's so good. And cook some of the, the side bits that are more fatty. That just renders out some of the fat. Okay, so we're just going to put it on our plate. Mm. So we let it rest for a few minutes now. And we're just going to slice it up. Looks really yummy. It looks great. Now we're going to enjoy it. Can't wait for a big, big bite. I'm so excited. I'm going to take a bite. Mmm. All right. So I hope you have enjoyed this video of cooking the perfect ribeye and eating the perfect ribeye. It has been fun for me. If you have any questions about ribeyes or how to cook them, just put them down below. Let me know what you want my next video to be about and tell me, do you eat grass fed or grain fed steaks with you buy a ribeye. I want to know. So please subscribe to my channel, like this video. It really helps me out, helps more people find out about the carnivore diet and more people can get healthy and we can stay healthy over the long term. So thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time. Make sure and check out my carnivore ebook. I will put a picture right here. It is a 30 day guide to getting started on the carnivore diet. It has recipes, meal plans, shopping lists, everything you need to know answers 42 of your most popular FAQs. So make sure and get started with that. Uh, I will put a code down in the description box for January. It is on sale. So let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.